Climate change is making lives tougher for people in Jordan, a country which is already experiencing an extreme scarcity of water. The Middle Eastern Kingdom is witnessing an unprecedented rise in summer temperatures and the delay of winter season with a decrease in rainfall. Surface water is seriously depleted in Jordan due to rising temperatures and demands from a growing population in agriculture. UNICEF says that only two-thirds of the country's sanitation systems are safely managed and only a third of schools have basic sanitation services. It's not just surface water that's decreasing. The country's main aquifers are also decreasing in supply with the annual decline of more than 10 meters in some. Jordan is one of the most uh, water scarce countries in the world. Uh, there is an estimate that less than 100 cubic meters per person per year of water is available, which is far, far below the 500 cubic meters per year that indicates uh, extreme water scarcity. Uh, with climate change, we see that uh, the effects uh, are multiplied, particularly over the most vulnerable population uh, and more in particular children. We know that uh, the, due to climate change, we will have a reduction on the rainfall, a reduction on the the recharge of the water sources, both surface water in terms of quantity and quality, but also the rain water sources. Experts say that Jordan's future water security is in danger with supplies at just a fraction of what is needed. The country's population has also swelled with refugees from Syria, Iraq and Yemen. The kingdom is also relying on heavily, in fact, upon neighboring countries for more supplies. The peace agreement between the kingdom and Israel signed in 1994 entitles Jordan to receive 55 million cubic meters from Israel annually. Jordan reached an agreement in July of 2021 to purchase an additional 50 million cubic meters of water from Israel. But the country still faces a water deficit of 500 million cubic meters a year and would have to import considerably more to ensure a continued supply for all its needs. Unfortunately, we, we used to depend mostly on transboundary waters with Syria, Israel in particular, and with Saudi Arabia in the south. Uh, our water resources with Saudi Arabia is limited in the DC aquifer, and that is well organized. But unfortunately, we are not using much of, or we are not benefiting from our water resources in the Yarmouk. Uh, the dam that was built to contain 110 million cubic meters of water, shared water with Syria, only co contains uh, 10 to 14 million, which is devastating. Uh, our uh, uh, regulation with uh, water and water resources with, Syria, with Israel hasn't improved. Now we are dependent more on buying water from Israel, which is not a very sound uh, way of, uh, of regulating or managing our water resources. Residents in the capital Amman are also being extremely cautious. Many say that they are being very careful to not waste the resource. We have become worried, especially in recent years, about the issue of water scarcity and water sources. We have been following news bulletins related to climate change and weather. We have become worried that if the rains are late in the winter, we worry about water shortages in the summer, and we feel more fearful. We live with anxiety. It says that the storage rate of dams has reached 90.2 million cubic meters, and that is just a third of their storage capacity of 280 million cubic meters. There is still too much water leakage due to inadequate infrastructure to secure it. And according to UNICEF, half of Jordan's water supply is lost through leaky pipes or it is stolen. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.